I spent all day yesterday working my shelter's table at a cat convention. And they put us right next to the DJ booth. So I was shouting all day with a cold. So that's why I sound so sexy. You didn't know there were cat conventions? What? Oh, there's a thing. We got to see Lil Bub do her talk show. Lil Bub has a talk show. Um, uh-oh. Did you, free- Did you freeze or are you? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know cat conventions are a thing now? This was sponsored by a cat cafe in Asbury Park, New Jersey. So they hosted this whole convention and Lil Bub was there and Mosho the cat rapper was there, although we didn't get to see his show because we were working. Um, the kitten lady was there. There's a there's an internet woman. She's actually the daughter of one of the members of Sticks, and her she's made a name for herself on the internet, teaching people how to rescue kittens and how to rate how to hand raise kittens if necessary, and that's her thing. Cat cat convention. convention. Yeah. So our shelter was there, giving spreading information and holding and selling T-shirts and. I, I also the- I can hear me <laughs> over your speakers like. Real loud. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me turn the volume down. It's okay. Simba, did you just poop in here? He's at my feet eating, but I think he just pooped in here. He, I mean, in his litter box. In here. <laughs> I got, I got these mice for the cats that are catnip and silver vine, which apparently not every cat is affected by catnip, hmm. but like eighty percent of cats have the effect from silver vine. But it only grows in Asia or something. Well, Dottie, as usual, was completely unimpressed. She sniffed that mouse and was like, go fuck yourself, mom. You're not even my real mom. Peggy, like, rubbed on it for a little bit and tossed it around and then was like, okay, that was fun. Simba has been losing his shit for two days. (laughs) This morning, he was, like, literally spent an hour jumping all over the bed up and down and on and off getting stuck on the bedspread because we have to get his claws trimmed this week and like and when i got up i found he had hoarded all three mice on the bed and like i got three so that each of them could have one no he had all three, like a little dragon on the bed you got, well it's a house with mice in his mouth like and the girls were completely unimpressed. They were well, just like, "You got oh. him drugs. What did you expect was going to happen? You got him drugs." But like Dottie could give a fuck. Dottie sniffed it and was like, "Oh, <coughs> another toy mouse. Thank you, mother. You got him drugs, though. He is highly susceptible to the drugs. My girls, not so much. He likes drugs. <sighs> All right. Well, let's." Uh... Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. This week is a lot of naked. Oh, well, <coughs> good. Now I'm going to cough. Just so, god damn it. it I, guess, I guess it's naked week, which is probably unfortunate because it's really cold out. Yeah. But that didn't... It's st- bad today. Oh, let's get the intro going. Each week... Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call, what the fuck is wrong with you? And um, we're going to start this one off this week with uh, our nomination for uh, Mugshot of the Week. Um, This one's precious. You, There are certain mugshots you can tell somebody does not appreciate the, the seriousness of the situation they're in. Uh-oh. And that's this fella. Uh, wait, wrong button. There we go. Right button. That's this fella right here. Let's have a look. Naked man enters home after crashing his SUV in the backyard. Dude. Yup. Newtown, that's right where near where I used to live in Connecticut. <laughs> The look on his face. <laughs> it looks like that meme of the, the bad joke dog. Uh, yeah. I broke into their house, get it? 
Newtown, Connecticut family came home from shopping Saturday morning to find a naked stranger in their home. Family spotted the nude man walking around the house and left to call 911. Obviously, this was a very terrifying situation for the homeowners. We are very happy our officers were able to respond in a prompt manner. Police arrested Joseph Aikenbach, uh, 35, of Watertown, Connecticut, on suspicion of trespassing, reckless endangerment, disorderly conduct, evading responsibility, driving under the influence. Aikenbach had crashed his SUV into the home's backyard, then entered the house through an unlocked sliding glass door. Police could not find Aikenbach's clothing in the SUV, suggesting he was naked at the time of the crash. What happened? Let me tell you something about Newtown, Connecticut. Hmm. There's nothing to do in Newtown, Connecticut. Nothing. Nothing. Uh. So, maybe this is what you do for fun. <laughs> you, you get drunk, you get naked, you break and enter. That doesn't... Oh, but you did poop in here. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks for dropping that bomb right before I went on the air. He is very pleased with himself, though. I know. He looks like he's in a commercial. <laughs> it's like a me it's a Mentos. It's a fucking Mentos commercial. That's what. Yeah. It's like. Lots of kids the aren't gonna. The naked maker. Are... <laughs> Tequila. The naked maker. Oh, a lot of you watching this are going to be like, what's Mentos? I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it. It was a thing. It was the 90s. It was a thing. The Foo Fighters even spoofed it in a video. Who are the Foo Fighters? I don't know them. Are they. Oh, they put out an album like last year. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I think lots of bands, old bands put out albums. I mean, the, the fucking Stones still put the out Foo albums. Are still a thing? What? The Foo Fighters are still a thing. I will not hear otherwise. I will not. That is the best mugshot this week, I gotta say. It really is. <laughs> he is pleased with himself. He shouldn't be. No, he shouldn't be. Here's a less nice mugshot, and she's not pleased with herself, and she shouldn't be. Um... The Foo Fighters are old, Tara. Fuck you. Woman accused of torching Dallas ATM was angry at bank for taking her money. Woman accused of setting fire to a cash machine at an old East Dallas bank said she did so because she was angry that money had been removed from her account. Uh... Rakes a kill? I think I'm saying that right. I can't see it because my ad blocker has brought up a giant window and I'm trying to resolve it. Well, I'm going to say, uh, it looks like Rakes a kill. Uh, 56 faces a charges of arson in a fire Wednesday at a Bank of America. Fire was quickly extingu extinguished, damaging only the cash machine and the front door of the bank. According to arrest warrant affidavit. Kia was still in the bank when officers and firefighters arrived and told them, uh, and she told them she set the fire. She was later interviewed by arson investigators and told them she had been angry at the bank for taking her money. Okay. When you start the arson, you leave. <laughs> yeah, you don't stay there. It's, it's not, it, you can't, you don't just get to hang out. You, you set the fire, you run. But also, none of us like that the bank takes our money. No. Nobody likes that. But some of us deal with it without fire. Yeah. We, we find a new bank. We find a credit union, which is always better. We just better keep the money in our mattress. Well, no. Don't do that. Cause some of us do. It's still a better response than fire. It is a better response than fire. I will get. It's not a great answer, but it's a better answer than fire. I also like that she's like, "Yeah, I set it on fire. They took my money." Like they're supposed to go. Oh, okay. Yeah, I I, I see your point. You're free to go, ma'am. Yeah. No. Give your money back now. 
and th th there's here's her mugshot. She's just like, this didn't work out the way I thought it would. Put me in jail. I'm supposed to get my money back. It's not. It's not. Just they have cameras. They have evidence. You confess to it. You are going How to. Are people not aware by 20 fucking 19 that the ATM has a camera in it? Fucking camera. But the bank is covered in cameras. Like. We live in the surveillance age, and in America, it's actually less bad than pretty much the rest of the world. Anywhere in the rest of the world, the second you walk out your front door, there's a camera on you. It's not quite that severe here, but still, if you're in a public place, you're the probably... Only, the only reason it's not that quite severe here is because we are a uh, country without regulation or infrastructure, and the people are too lazy to update their shit to install the cameras. Also, though, we have things about surveillance. Mm. We get real mad about stuff like that. We're like, keep us safe, but don't look at us. But yeah, they they if you fucking set the ATM on fire, they, they what she's I just like she, she she was just like, what? What I do? Like wh what what was what? The, they took my money? Why are you acting like I'm the unreasonable one here? Come on. <laughs> When you're solving your problems with fire, you're always the unreasonable one. Always! Unless you're Daenerys Targaryen, in which case, still, actually, you're usually the unreasonable one. Uh, Except for the whole Flavors Bay thing, burning people alive has almost never been reasonable. I mean, you know, they've got to they gotta burn leaves when I rake my yard, but that solves the problem, but, you know... I said almost always. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy on Twitter where every time I say literally anything, someone has to tell me how they're the exception. I said almost. <laughs> Hashtag not all fires. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Burn your leaves. Just don't burn your neighbors. I'm, I'm torn on this next one. I am. A lot of people sent it to me, and I'm kind of. I don't really know which way I'm leaning on this one. Um, you know, it, let's just look at it. Man sues parents for throwing out porn collection. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Indiana man is suing his Ottawa County parents for getting rid of his vast pornography collection which he estimates is worth uh, $29,000. 40-year-old 40 40 man last week filed a lawsuit in federal court in Michigan when he moved in with his parents in 2016 following a divorce. He says that when he moved out 10 months later, they delivered his things to his new home in Muncie, but that his 12 boxes of pornographic films and magazines were missing. Were missing. His parents admitted they dumped the porn, which included such titles as Frisky Business, and Big Bad Grannies. Man filed a complaint with the police, but the Ottawa County prosecutor declined to press charges. The lawsuit includes an email excerpt from the man's father who told his son, <coughs> quote, I dig you a big favor by getting rid of all this stuff. So I'm torn here. On the one hand... It's his private property. His but he parents live on his pro property. <laughs> well, it's it's his property. His parents were shipping it back to them. If this had been, say, comic books or game books or video games or vintage amplifiers or any any other number of things, it could have possibly been, or like baseball cards or or like sports memorabilia. Any other thing, and the parents have decided, no, no, this is bad for you. We're taking this away. We would have been like, no, you don't get to do that. But since it's porn, we're sitting here going, well. On the third leg, on the third you're leg. asking your parents to handle your porn. Look, I moved in with my sister after a divorce. Mm -hmm. I got a storage container for half my shit. Partially because I had furniture that, and I was only living in one room. Partially because I had shit she wasn't going to want in her house. 
Hmm. Not a vast porn collection. Yeah. But, like, I can't think of anything off the top of my head at the moment, but <laughs> she had a nine-year-old, and I have art with bad words in it and stuff, so I just put all that stuff in storage, which is what you should have done. That's just true. Collection and storage. But and don't let your parents handle your porn. On the other hand, you know, they threw it out. Why would you, why would you do that? You know, you could have a talk with your kid. You could be like, son, I don't, I don't understand this. What is Big Bad Grannies? What happened? Think, no matter how old you get, your parents are always your parents. And no matter how old you get, in your parents' eyes, you never aged beyond 12. <laughs> this is true. This is true. And if you have to move into their house, then they again see you as you're living under my roof. You live by my rules. But now let's look at the other Porn. hand. Let's look at the other hand here. This was $29,000 worth his of porn. In his estimation. In his estimation. But I mean, I have a friend who has every issue of Playboy ever printed. And that's his, that's the thing he collects. He has every single issue back to whenever Playboy started. Hmm. That's his thing. But, Fine. But that's, that is a lot. Of, it, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm thinking here, if you have $29,000 of porn, maybe this is what led to the divorce. I mean, it was probably a contributing factor. Probably. Because that's, the, you know what? Because that's. That's a year's salary in some jobs. There's porn, and then there's a lot of porn. Yeah, like... That's a lot of porn. Like, I don't really get... I like to I like to troll the relationship subreddit. Mm. I feel oh, good God. about myself. Oh, God. I hate that thing. And I gotta tell you, so many of the women are like, Oh, my God, I caught my husband watching porn. Should we get divorced? And I don't really get that, because I'm like, dude, lighten up a little. People watch porn. It's fine. It doesn't but, mean he doesn't love you. But $29,000 worth of porn. There's a lot of real estate in between. Like, we've lost perspective. <laughs> you can watch porn. Do you need twenty nine thousand dollars worth of porn? Let's just and let's just say his collection. Let's just say it was valued at at regular pro, off the rack values, which probably was. Uh, what? Let's say ten dollars a video or whatever. Twenty nine thousand yeah. dollars. Those were boxes and boxes and boxes of DVDs and VHS and God knows what else. Yeah, that's a little much. Let me, uh. That was probably a contributing factor in the divorce, yes. Also, just say it, the man is seeking triple financial damages of roughly $87,000. And that's the thing, like, really? Your parents took you in after your divorce. They did you a solid. Let's not even get into the fact that they raised, fed, and clothed you for at least 18 years. And you're going to ask them for a hundred grand? Because they threw away your titty movies. Yeah. Man, fuck you. I know, seriously. I'm wondering if also that inclination helped right. contribute to the divorce. Maybe you're just a big sack of asshole. Maybe you're a dick. Uh, well, um... I, I knew... I, I Okay, I bet you are everyone in the channel. Everyone, you at home, you Tara, you at home, you on YouTube. Everyone watching this, I'm going to show you this headline, and I'm go I, I bet you, you're all going to be able to guess the very first line of the article. The very first line that's written in the article. I bet you can all figure it out. Are you ready? Is everyone ready for this one? Send it to Tara. Your What's the first line of this article? Woman who has to pee steals truck from city employees. What's the first line of the article? Let's see what the channel says. Survey says. I'm waiting for it. Oh, we've got a little bit of a lag. We'll give them some time. Okay. Okay. 
I thought we were going to... Okay, do everyone in the channel is talking about... Is saying pissed off. <laughs> really? I like where your head's at. You can't, you can't say piss. There you go. Someone finally... Unique Angel. There's Sendai Guy. Lots of people in the channel are going. The very first line of this article by John Lucio. When you gotta go, you gotta go. He's not wrong. There's low-hanging fruit, and then there's like, it's on the ground. It's fucking on the ground. A woman with a full bladder gave a new meaning to the expression. A woman allegedly asked some Philadelphia city workers to pee between two of their parked work trucks. But she took off in one of the vehicles instead. A woman identified as Amanda Bonner, 33, approached some Philadelphia Street Department employees and explained her bladder distress. Given her dilemma, the employees granted her permission to relieve her bladder. But at least one of the city-owned Ford F-350 pickup trucks was unoccupied with the engine running when the woman asked to use the area near it as an impromptu toilet. An unusual request occurred at a job site. Instead of just going, the woman actually went. Okay, that was funny. That was funny. <laughs> uh, Bonner allegedly entered the running pickup truck and drove off westbound on Walnut Street. Shock City employees gave chase, one on foot and another in a city truck. Police caught up to Bonner in the stolen vehicle, and then police arrived as well, and Bonner was taken into custody. What the like, fuck? If well, the truck was running mm -hmm. and unlocked, uh huh. why did you bother with the con? Seriously, you could have just darted for it. Just get in the truck and go. It just like, why? Why are you selling a bladder in distress story? Ambush that shit. Just sort of ninja and boom, out of fucking nowhere, right, hop in the now, car. Now they're paying attention to you because you asked a weird thing. Yeah, and they have a description. Right. And all of that. They, they can pick you out of a lineup. But no, you had to, you had to try to go the con route. You had to do matchstick and man on this shit. To. That's like unnecessary labor. Right. You, you, you made your shit too. You made your crime too complicated. Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> you got a, got a Scrooge McDuck that's in the class on that one. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. What the? Just no, why? You just you just run for it. Just hop in and go. Just casual as you please. Just be like do 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 boom. You would have got to do the potty emergency skit for them. No. I just I Philadelphia man, it's a city full of fucking savages. <laughs> I still remember when they beat that poor robot to death. Poor robot. And it was a dude in an Eagles jersey. Mhm. Mm poor robot just wanted to travel the country and make friends and they beat it to death in Philadelphia. It is not the city of brotherly love. It is not. That's a lie. What the fuck? I, I, it's a, what was, what, where were you? Okay, another thing. This is a city truck. I see there's a Bell logo on it. <laughs> where were you going to go in your sweet new ride, lady? Yeah. Wait, you, you well, take. This is the second mugshot of the week where they're not, aren't you required to look at the camera for a mugshot? I blinked. Did I blink? I think I blinked. Did I blink? Like, don't they have to get. I your face? Yeah, they have to get your eyes because eye color. But I blinked. Did I blink? I think I blinked. Ah. Uh, anyway, so that's that's that. Even more naked. So this is, I think, this is how many naked stories that we had this week. We've had one. We had porn, which isn't exactly naked. Um, this is two. This is this this is two. this is a whole lot of naked. This is. This is triple naked. Triple naked. Three! Three naked women! Ah! 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 Three naked women at Florida rest stop lead troopers on chase. Trio threatened troopers with their vehicle with a and a bat when cornered. Dade City, Florida. Authorities say three female tourists were applying suntan lotion publicly in the nude 
at a Florida rest stop, and then led police on a 21-mile chase, drove a car at a trooper, and threatened another trooper with a bat. Florida Highway Patrol said when a trooper approached the women uh, at the Internet 75 rest stop, uh, they started dressing the women, all of Kingston, New York, said they had been staying at a relative's home, but went to the rest stop after an alt altercation and had nowhere else to go. Women told the trooper they were, quote, air drying after washing up. The women then fled in a car. According to the arrest report, uh, Oasis McLeod drove recklessly during the chase, speeding through That's a... That's a great name, by the way. Oasis McLeod. Uh, speeding through a school zone, once cornered at a gas station, Jania McLeod got out of the car wielding a pink and purple metal baseball bat and attacked a trooper. At the same time, Oasis McLeod drove the car at another trooper, but missed. The three were ultimately arrested, charged with aggravated assault. I wonder assault. why you aren't welcome at your relative's home anymore. I know, right? Altercation. I go. Fucking altercation. Yeah, no, and, and I got a. Here's another one where they don't recognize the severity. Um, yeah. Aggravated assault on law enforcement officer. You're in deep shit, but yeah. they're 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 grinning. Hi, hi, mom. Like the indecent exposure probably wasn't going to be that serious. No, that's a little one. Until you tried to run them over and beat them with a bat. Yeah. Now they're mad. Yeah, that's 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 a, a fucking felony right there. Yeah. Cops tend to take that pretty seriously. Uh, I, I just, that just, hmm. Like, you have a fight with your relatives. They kick you out of their house. Uh, and, I mean, I gotta think they did, like, the hobo bath at the rest stop. At or a they, rest stop? Of all fucking, at a fucking rest stop? Man, I don't even. I wouldn't even go barefoot at a rest stop. Oh God, no! Much less take off all of my clothes. Although I gotta say, we have a lot of rest stops on ninety five in New Jersey, and they're all pretty well maintained. I'm all fit impressed at how clean they are, and yet, because the public, you want to touch as little as possible in there. God, yes. Because the public is disgusting. And everyone goes by a rest stop. You get kids, you get families, you get scary people. They all come to the rest stop eventually. Everybody. Yeah. Again, not a great place to be naked. No. And then be very aggressive about your nudity. That was some aggressive nudity. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Were they still naked when they attacked them is what I want to know. The well, story apparently they, they, they quickly, they started getting dressed again. So I doubt okay. it. But still. Like, how was work today, honey? Oh my god, I got attacked by a naked bitch with a bat. <laughs> and the other one had a car. So, But at least they won't get a sunburn. Oh. Okay. Right. Sunblock. I mean, I applaud them for sunblock. We have a little more naked this week, and we have a story that was sent to me, I think, no less than 50 times. I'm not <clears> even <throat> exaggerating. It was like a Flare went the fuck up with my name on it. That happens sometimes. This, it just, everyone sent me this story. And it, it, it kind of is like the perfect storm here for our, our audience, for what we do. Um, our, our oeuvre, if you, if you will. Um, Woman does karate, son gets nude, dog steals cornbread mix from Walmart. Bingo! <laughs> I got what the fuck is wrong with you, bingo? <laughs> Eau Claire, Wisconsin, a mother and her son are in custody after causing a ruckus at a Walmart. Uh, Eau Claire Police Department identified 46-year-old Lisa Smith, and I gotta say, that is the roughest 46 I've ever seen. That woman is only four years older than me. Ah! Uh, 40, so I'm 42. That's 46-year-old Lisa Smith and her 25-year-old son, Betty Van, as the uh, suspects. Investigators say the dog is named Bo. 
Responding officers said they found Smith yelling in the doorway trying to summon Bo. Smith allegedly... Because they brought him into Walmart without a leash. Yeah, they brought Smith uh, brought Bo into the store without a leash, so he easily ditched his owner and started running up to unsuspecting customers. While Bo was doing that, Smith began tearing apart store displays and placing them in her shopping cart. Walmart staff asked her to leave. She complied. Police said she left the store to perform karate moves in the parking lot. Like you do. Bo, on the other hand, had not been brought to heel. By the time anyone found him, he was on his way out of the store with a box of Jiffy Cornbread Muffin Mix in his mouth. Police arrested Smith, but it wasn't without a fight. She had allegedly kicked out a patrol car window when they Holy finally shit. got her in custody. Meanwhile, police say Van was running amok inside the store. He allegedly took off all his clothes in the rear of the Walmart and exposed himself to everyone around him. Officers approached and commanded him to end the madness, but he I refused. Like that's the exact words they used. End this madness. Sure. End the madness. Authorities say Van even used a scooter in an attempt to run over an officer. Law enforcement it's physically like three miles an hour, dude. <laughs> Law enforcement physically stopped the scooter and took him into custody. Van faces charges for lewd and lascivious behavior, lascivious behavior, disorderly conduct, retail theft. Smith is charged with disorderly conduct, resisting arrest, and misdemeanor bail jumping. Bo, however, was not charged. Police issued him a warning for the theft. Bo. What the fuck happened here? Yes. Exactly. Every, every, this could at least, on our show, this could be maybe three separate stories. Seriously. This could have been, this could be the whole show. Yes. But it's all at once. All at once. Everything together. It's like a singularity. The only thing missing was Florida. Yeah, because this happened in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. If this had been Florida, this would have been like the Holy Grail. This would have been the one I would hold up for years and say, You see? <laughs> Do you see? Iron Man Party. Like, I need have brought i need to get this shit framed because this is this is amazing what I happened love, i love the mental image of the dog running off with cornbread <laughs> of everything in the walmart not a dog toy not a fucking steak <laughs> the cornbread cornbread mix not even finished cornbread <laughs> of everything in the walmart <clears throat> The dog's like, Mom, when we get home, will you make cornbread? <laughs> well, no, honey. I've got to do karate on the police I right now. finish my Tai Chi. <laughs> <laughs> everyone in this story except the dog. Everyone. What in the God fuck? Like, meth is not a family night activity. Th this is like the Ur crazy. Th this is the... the, the, the the platonic ideal. The shadows on the cave wall shit. They both look beat to shit. <laughs> of what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, they both have what looks like either a double black eye or a recently broken nose. Because they both have, like, the raccoon bruise. <laughs> Will Jr. said, it's a hell of an axe, son. What do you call it? The aristocrats! <laughs> like, I mean, maybe they just headbutt each other for fun at home. Oh, I don't know. God damn. Why did you have to get naked? I, I kind of... Can we free home Bo? Yeah, Bo needs a better home. Bo needs a more nurturing environment. That does not have people who smash police cruiser windows and drive naked on Walmart scooters. Naked on a Walmart scooter is... that That is the low point of your life. That's just asking <clears throat> for a staph infection that will not quit. Like, remember that flesh-eating staff? That's what you're asking for. That's you get what, on the Walmart scooter. That's when you're in AA and you stand up and you're talking about rock bottom. Was the night I was naked on a Walmart scooter trying yeah. to run over a policeman. Yeah. 
Do you know there's some drug on the market? You know, drug commercials now they tell you, oh, our drug will possibly help your blood pressure. And here's the a minute and a half of the horrible shit it's going to do to you while it's possibly helping your blood pressure. Yeah, except only in America because no other country allows that bullshit. Right. But yeah. One of the new commercials, and I don't remember what drug it's for, but every time this commercial comes on, Dan just gets angry. One of the side effects is gangrene of the genitals. And I'm like, that is weirdly specific. And also fucking terrible. Like, what bleeding out your eyeballs disease do you have to have to make that worth it? So, but yeah. naked on the Walmart scooter would do it, too. If you want the gangrene of the genitals without the health benefits of the drug, there you go. So, yeah, I guess, I guess the first thing we learned this week is where the sidewalk ends. <laughs> And it's at Walmart. Yeah, I that 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 is that is the fucking pinnacle. We have had crazy shit here, but my god, someone That's, that is impressive. I what? almost wonder if they're fans of the show trying to impress us. Really, you know, it's like, well, we can top that shit, son. Get you my purse. That date might come. What? That we'll be reading a story on the air and be like. The perpetrator said their motive was to impress Nash Bozard. <laughs> That's the day I stopped doing this. That and we'll be like, fuck. <laughs> That's like, good night, everybody. So yeah, we, we that... the idea has become the institution. <laughs> Time to move on. <laughs> and if you get that reference, God bless you. You are a wonderful goth. Um, we've learned that. A place you never want to be naked is any rest stop. Nothing yeah. good is going to happen after that. Nothing no. nothing good happens after. So then I got naked at the rest stop. No, no story ends with a happy ending when it starts that way. Everything after that is bad. Um, We've learned instead, if you could just shorten your crime to the bare basics, go with that. Yeah. Don't get fancy. Keep it simple. Don't, don't get, that's how you get caught. You get fancy, you get caught. Keep the, just straightforward. Everything the, doesn't need to be Ocean's fucking Eleven. Right, man. exactly. Yeah. Um, we've learned how much porn is too much porn. <laughs> uh, now I'm thinking of, remember, do you remember the state? $250,000 worth of pudding. <laughs> oh, yeah. $29,000 worth of porn. Oh, yeah. Nobody's going to get that joke. Um, we've learned there are cameras in the ATM again. Yeah. This is remedial now. We really should have learned that about 10 years ago. Maybe 20. Also, your crime is not okay if the people who you did it to had it coming. It's still a yeah. crime. Unfortunately, You're... that's not a thing. <clears throat> I know. Doesn't mention was this a Bank of America? Yeah, it was a Bank of America. They yeah, they had it coming. Fuck them. Um, but still, it, crime is crime. So, but you don't get off for that, unfortunately. And finally, we've learned, uh, you know, if if you're if if you're going to do a DUI, if you're going to be naked in a stranger's home, at least you got to keep that sunny disposition. Yeah. Always look on the brighter side of life. Just remember, keep smiling. <laughs>